Hey everyone, how's it going? My name's Runestrike, and today I'm going to teach you how to shape a box inside of Ableton Live with Volume Shaper to Sidechain. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So here's a test project I've made, you know, real quick, just whipped it up for this video. You know, didn't spend an entire weekend making it. All right, yeah, you get the idea. Let me show you how I set up my side chain. Super easy, almost kind of an inconvenience. First, we're gonna make a blank MIDI track by pressing Command Shift T, which will open up this ugly little yellow thing. Well, it might be a different color on your side, I don't know. But I like to make it red. So now we have a basic bare bones little MIDI track. Next, we're gonna go to Instruments, click on External Instrument, and we're gonna route this to Group 2. Shaper box and inside shaper box, we're gonna make sure all of our settings are correct. We're gonna make sure MIDI trigger is set to one shot, and you're gonna basically make your own shape, whichever one you want to do. You can make it look like anything you want. I'm, I'm not, I don't judge. It's up to you. Next, you're actually gonna look at these things. Make sure you're on the right length. This could change drastically depending on the song you have. So I'm, I have a four on the floor track, which is 128 BPM. This should be fine. So I'm just gonna leave it one fourth and next, we're gonna make a side chain. So we're actually gonna take the MIDI from our drums, copy them, and we're gonna slap them on here. Just like that. Next, we're gonna delete the MIDI we don't need. Since I'm doing a four and a floor track, I'm gonna leave the kick drum MIDI and delete all the other MIDI. This could change depending on what track. If you're doing like a dubstep track where like the drums, like the kick is not the same, you're gonna wanna keep the snare side chain so you the snare will side chain, of course. Uh, common sense. So now that we have this here, let's have a listen. Sounds awesome. Let's listen to it without the side chain. Sounds like crap. I mean, it sounded like crap before, but now it sounds like crap even more. That almost kind of rhymed. All right, so now let's say you want to side chain something else though. So you're probably thinking, man, I'm gonna have to like duplicate this stupid thing. I'm gonna have like a whole bunch of, no, shut up. You don't know what you're doing yet. Next, we're gonna take this, we're gonna copy our shaper box and let's say we wanna, you know, side chain these shakers. So we're gonna basically copy the exact same settings if you want, and then we're gonna come up here and we're actually gonna go Command G or Control G. Click this button and just hit Command D to duplicate it. Then we're gonna select the output here to the one you wanna side chain. Boop, there you go. And now you get shakers at sidechain and it's that simple so all you have to do is have one mini track to do all of your side chaining which is super great another little tip you can do to make things a little easier to find when you're trying to find the sidechain is on mac press control command and spacebar to load up emojis now you can actually press an emoji and ableton will put the emoji there so when you're looking for something to sidechain it pops up super easy and you can easily see it and it's an instant click so yeah, so I'd throw that little tidbit in there. Windows, you press the Windows key and a little period and the window and the emoji thing will pop up. So yeah, that's how you do it on Windows. Next, I'll show you how this works in an actual song that I've produced and how I use it in a song. So it should be fun. I don't know. This video is going to be like 10 seconds long. I got to make it longer somehow. So this is how I have it set up inside of one of the projects I would actually work on. So basically, I have a little side chainer group that are actually color coded to each bus I'm side chaining, so it makes it a lot easier to tell what's side chaining. And I also have some extras that are colored red, just in case I want to side chain some instruments differently than what the group they're in. So that's pretty awesome. And I also have them color coded to some of the return tracks. And another reason why I recommend doing it for each group bus, like I've seen some people just like slap all of their instruments in one group, where one group has a side chain. I think that's not a good idea because let's say we want to come in here and side change the leads differently. Let's hear what difference this can make on this sound. See, it has a completely different sound to it. So sometimes you might actually might want to sidechain like the vocals, maybe only sidechain to like 600 Hertz. 
everything under everything under 600 hertz will be side chained where the top won't be or in your bases you could side chain all of it well that's all i got for today thank you all for watching uh make sure to subscribe hit the bell notification sign your life away do whatever you need to do to get some notifications from this channel because i am trying to get 500 subscribers by the end of this year and it's probably not going to happen but it'd be really awesome so uh thank you all for watching and have a nice day